hi everyone welcome back to the channel and today we are building a beach cottage for Sulani uh, this is my entry to the Sims community cottage core challenge and I decided to think outside of the box okay and <laughs> do something a little bit different from what you expect from a cottage you know i thought maybe i would do a beach cottage instead of a countryside cottage which is seems to be what most people are building and it makes sense because that's the first thing that comes to mind when we think cottage core and it fits really well with the new pack which is uh, cottage living of course which is uh, we get the countryside road of Hanford on Bagley, which I'm, by the way, really looking forward to. I'm super excited for this new pack. Um, so today I'm actually going to start talking about it instead of the actual build. Um, because I just saw the, the gameplay trailer for Cottage Living and there wasn't much new things. Um compared to the the original trailer that dropped off a few weeks ago and but yeah it, it looks cute it looks uh, like they're really giving us everything we wanted in the sense of living a country life and we already had gardening and um, some things like I don't know what else? <laughs> yeah, I guess we had gardening, you know, but now we will be able to have a farm with chickens, llamas, and cows as well. No horses, no pigs, no sheep, which is a bit disappointing. But, well, we'll make do, I suppose. Um, and of course, I, I remember seeing in the gallery a dog that somebody created a dog that looked just like sheep so <laughs> uh maybe we could we could use that instead but anyway what we do seem to be getting like the um, the cows and the w yeah that was in the trailer uh, about like new ways to interact with the cow when you can give them treats and that will affect the kind of milk that they give and apparently you'll be able to socialize with the cows like talk to them and sing to them and even dance to them <laughs> which is pretty cool in my opinion you know and it will make up for some funny interactions for sure so that looked really nice um and i'm gonna go over every single detail on the trailer because i'm pretty sure there's um, like a million videos out there doing exactly that uh, but yeah, I'm super excited for this pack as of today as I'm recording this it's three weeks to go and I cannot wait any longer <laughs> uh, yeah because I I think they have been doing a great work with the most recent expansion packs and especially with snowy escape I think the Sims 4 really has reached like peak performance in the sense of what they are delivering us, especially this Summer of Sims. Guys, that has been amazing. We got an amazing kit pack. We got a new game pack, which, like I said before, is not exactly my favorite, but it's pretty cool too. And now we're going to get an expansion pack to kind of... Um, close the the summer of sims and yeah i think it's looking great and i can't wait to play it uh, like after about six months since we got the, more than six months actually since we got snowy escape i am running out of things to do on the sims not completely they're still some aspirations that I didn't explore. I still haven't played the Dream Home Decorator career or the Paranormal Investigator career to the maximum of it. I just played. Ah, my computer just slapped. Not good. 
Okay, we're back. Um, I just played a bit with the um, paranormal investigator career, but yeah, so that's actually oh, and I never owned a restaurant either. So in my current gameplay, that's exactly what I'm doing. Like I have a household where they're gonna own a restaurant. I didn't get to that yet because I'm still raising the money to actually buy the restaurant. And another household where we're gonna have a paranormal investigator. And maybe eventually I'll play the dream home decorator career as well. I don't have plans for it right now. But anyway, I digress. What I wanted to talk about today as well is about this beautiful Sulani cottage that I'm building here. Uh, I have no idea where the video is right now, to be honest, because like I said before, my computer is a bit old and it cannot play the video and record the audio at the same time, apparently. So. Uh, let me just okay so right now I'm finishing uh, the, f the bedroom uh, like always I'm using lots of bright colors most of the furniture here is from Island Living and also from Jungle Adventure because well it is a beach car beach beach batch beach <laughs> beach cottage in Solani uh, which is of course make, makes a lot of sense to use this furniture for the office I did use some of the objects from Green Home Decorator to build like a bookshelf that covers a whole wall with a little niche for the desk and the computer uh, surprisingly I did not go over budget here I thought that 50k would be too little to build a proper like home in the way I like to furnish it but for this small lot and this small cottage it actually fits quite well and I think I, it only costs actually 43k um, so yeah I did not go over budget here and your sims will be able to afford this even if they're not too rich and of course you can always cheat the money which is something that I don't usually do if you do it I don't judge you know but all my gameplay I like to it's one of the most satisfying things to me to get my sims a job and see them rise through the ranks and get more money and be buying things little by little and expanding the house and eventually changing houses to a bigger place you know I think that's what makes it a little bit more challenging you know especially because sometimes the sims i think should have like a difficulty not, well not sometimes but i think the sims should have a difficulty slider or something like that just to give us the option to make the gameplay a bit more challenging like i don't know it could be something simple like making the objects more expensive and uh, uh the need the case the needs decay faster or something like that just to make it a bit more realistic especially for when you have a like really rich sims with a really nice household and they reach the top of the career they're working like two or three times a week and I already bought everything I wanted so then I take care of the needs really fast and and it makes it so that they have lots of free time <laughs> and sometimes I don't know what to do with that you know even pursuing aspirations some of them can be really easy and they end up really quick in the sense that you just reach the maximum and some other aspirations I don't want to pursue at all so it doesn't make much sense to play them but coming back to the actual build, uh, we have a relatively small kitchen. Uh, there's no room for actually eating there, so uh, but there is a nice 
dining slash living room, which is also relatively small. I didn't want to build a, a, a home that was too large, but uh, everything your sim needs should be there. You know, a table for six, a nice um, modular sofa. There's no TV here, actually. Uh, I often do that, you know, just to make the sims look for other kinds of entertainment and they have the computer, they have the radio, they have the ocean right there so they can always go swimming or sunbathing um, so they will have plenty of options for leisure again no judging if you like to watch lots of TV <laughs> I also do that from time to time but yeah um, and especially when I'm playing spellcasters I get a lot of inspiration from, you know, the more traditional spellcasters that don't have too much technology or le electricity or whatsoever, so they are, don't even own TVs, and most of my sins are spellcasters, I'm a bit embarrassed to say, <laughs> but like, I'm actually right now playing a household of generation of spellcasters because I'm trying to get the ancient bloodline trait and that takes about four generations and I play with the very long um, lifespan of the sim so it takes a while to actually get there to, to the fourth generation but I'm almost there I only have one more generation to go and I'm gonna get um, the the trade and yeah and, and then when cottage living comes I think I'm gonna have new goals for my household you know of course I'm gonna have some of my sims live a uh, cottage life and all and move them to Hanford and Don Bagley because like I said the world the new world looks just beautiful uh, I already saw from a sim guru that there will be a 64 by 64 lot so I think uh, the world will meet all our needs you know so I'm looking forward to having a huge farm with lots of crops and cows and maybe have a llama you know I'm not that bitter about the horses that <laughs> I won't have a llama whatsoever but I did say in the last video that maybe we would be able to edit the llamas to look like horses but it doesn't look like that at all from the newest trailer you know there will be not there will not be a create a llama screen and that's shame but like I said, I still have hopes, you know, maybe they will drop horses in a kit pack or maybe even a, another expansion pack or, or, or we will never get horses, but well, that's a shame, but um, it's not fundamental, I'd say. Um, and that is pretty much it for today's video there's not much else to show our beach cottage is almost fully furnished there i just did some uh put some put out some more paintings and and photos and of course did i i actually started by the landscaping because usually by the end of the build I'm tired and <laughs> I'm terrible with the landscaping so I just went around putting some more plants around it to make it more cozy and as a plant gay myself I like to have loads of plants everywhere and <laughs> uh, that translates to my building style as well and there's also the um, uh, I think it's called a Polynesian canoe in in, in English I'm not sure which is also a great option for the sims to have fun and there's the floater so they can hang out by the water and I think I also did a quite a nice job with the landscaping and the front garden you know I think it blends really well with the um, the rest of the, the outskirts of the lot right so 
so that's it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to our channel and if you want like the video and leave a comment check us out on tumblr and facebook and pretty much yeah spend all your time supporting our channel because we want to grow see you bye bye